Now, what we're going to do today is an experiment where we look at how archaeologists discover things. And we've got some pieces of equipment here, which I, I just want to explain to you very, very briefly how we go about things. When we think we've found an area where there may be some interesting remains under the ground, one of the first things we do is we run a metal detector over that area. And if there's any metal objects in the ground, we'll get a signal here. And what we're going to do in a few minutes is we're going to divide you in two. Some people are going to come out and do some field work, and the other people are going to be doing the, uh, the cataloging. And then later on today, we'll swap over so that everyone gets a turn at every aspect of the work that an archaeologist does. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to set your stopwatches so that you get about, well, let's say three minutes each on the metal detector, OK? The way you'll know you're going to find something is you can see a green light there. Then if you see a, an orange or a yellow square, that means you're getting warmer. If it's red, you're very close to something, OK? Now, if you find something, all have a good look in there. Call me over. Well done. It looks like a wheel of some sort, doesn't it? Those are spokes. Yeah, we found a wheel. We found a wheel. Let's have a way. We found a wheel. Well done. Very done here. Yeah, but we found a brooch. You've got a brooch. Nails. Nails. Very mysterious. Over here we got something. It's nails. We've got nails. Yeah, we found. Three nails and another three nails, one coin, coin a, a wheel, wheel, and something we don't know. And a ring, ring. with a ruby in the middle and coins. I think and those jelly. could actually be quite ancient things. It didn't look all detailed like the ones we have now. It didn't have all those swirly bits. It was just a plain ring with a red ruby in the middle. This is what we call geophys. And what that shows us is different responses coming up from under the ground. Uh, which will tell us if there were any buildings, if there are changes going on under the ground that you can't see on the surface that might be worth further uh, exploration. So that's geophys, geophysics. If you see lines starting to appear, I want you to put down one of these cones on the lines. If there are any buildings here, this should show us. You found another line now. Where's this, this one? Oh, well, well done, well done. It says go over where the hills are. Look, just over there. So oh, we need to be going over there. there. That looks to me very clearly like the outline of a building. That is a very large wall there. When we look at the pattern that the cones make, we may find a building. If it's a Roman building, as you think, it will be a building of straight lines. Mm. You've got to put all your results together and we've come up with this, what we think is under there. Flight of stairs almost definitely isn't it there. Now I think you'd only get a flight of stairs like that in a very grand building. We're going to move now to the final stage. We've done detection, we've done geophysics. We have an idea now that there is at least one significant building that we think is Roman. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a digging exercise. Half of the class will come out first of all to do uh, to use the digging machines and the other half, you'll receive the data that the first half uh, is, is, is able to dig up, like a kind of a jigsaw and gradually build up a picture of what it is uh, this half is finding and then we'll, we'll, we'll swap over. Someone hold the yeah. cone! Yeah. Yeah. Really no, hold okay cone. guys, turn! Hayden. I'll hold the cone down. Okay, keep going, keep going. Oh, come on, let's go! Try not to get giddy, that's it, that's it. Every now and again, have a look at the screen. You may need to stop. Roman art without question. 
The Romans were the first people to, to construct arches like that. If you... Why do you think it might have been a temple? What do you think? Because we haven't got all of it, have we? These are just the ruins. The, ar the arch ones. Because they're like the ones that we have in Rome. Oh, mostly enjoy them. But also inspire them with history, how technology can be used in different ways. Children that are perhaps not so into the curriculum, not so engaged, have been completely into it today, answering questions, helping each other out. A little bit like uh, a Roman forum or something. Oh, possibly. Find any game? I'm not. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's no way. But I mean, they've just had a great day. Very happy kids. Yeah, very tired. Hopefully, they'll all sleep well tonight. <laughs> That's probably where in front of the house, and that's probably the house there. Wait, I just want to look at it. Oh, Jack, it's gone now. Oh, oh, it's gone, look at this. Oh, 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 o